Hey everyone, this is Martin from How to Make Mobile Games, and this is a developer diary video of um, a new game that is not yet in the market at all, and I'm in the middle of developing it right now. Um, and in fact, I've just started it. It's um, it's a game inspired by a, a game that I played recently called Clear Vision, which is like a kind of sniper game, um, and it's pretty cool. You have to sort of target, you, ha you have missions and you have targets which are people and uh, it's kind of a little bit gory but you have to sniper them and, and assassinate these people. So it was kind of inspired by that a little bit because I thought it was an awesome game. Um, but I wanted to change it around a touch to be kind of within the X series so not quite as new looking but sort of old arcade which is what the, the X series is all about. It's kind of a retro uh, feel to the X series. So um, this developer diary video, for those of you who have not seen one before, is basically, um, it's not a tutorial, it's just sort of me recording myself during the game development process so that people can see how game development works, um, you know, the sort of the design decisions that, that, that we make and how the coding works and the software um, and how we test things as well. So, you know, hopefully for people that are new to game development, you know, check out our tutorials as well on our channel. They're, they're a lot more useful if you're just coming directly into game development for the first time. But this is also for people who maybe are already game developers and they want to find out how something was done. This might be useful to you also. So, you know, just, just, to, just so you know, this is a developer diary, not a tutorial, but check out the tutorials on our channel. So... Uh, what I've got here is just a basic scene going on, and um, there's no menu system any at the moment. There's no um, instruction screen or, or anything like that. It's just me uh, sort of putting a, a crosshairs uh, object here, and this is meant to be a character object. Um, and I'm just going to use my mouse to to move this uh, the crosshairs around. And the kind of the goal is here for for this game is to have the to have the characters sort of move across the screen on sort of three levels. So it's almost like the, the, the what do you call it, the, the shooting gallery, the duck uh, shooting gallery thing where the ducks go across and you're meant to shoot them. Um, and one of the game mechanics that we'll have is basically the closer that you get to the center of the head, which is sort of this top, this part here, this top part of the body, the higher the score that you get. The further away that you go from the center, then the lower score that you get. And the goal is going to be that basically these characters are going to move on and off the screen left and right. Um, if you miss them three times, it's it's game over. Um, and one of the difficult parts is that it's going to constantly get faster and faster, and there's going to be more of these characters walking around. So that's the challenge, and I'm thinking right now that it might be three strikes and you're out. Kind of like a Fruit Ninja thing, but you might be able to unlock sort of more strikes or... For example, one of the things that uh, that will probably include is like an upgraded weapon. So players can basically they can unlock like a faster rifle that has a quicker reload time, or a machine gun or something like this. So you know these are the things that this is uh, that I've got to decide. So like I mentioned, this game is not finished. This is actually kind of making of, and this is the first time that that I've actually done this for one of our games, um, and it's kind of like a DVD feature, like you know, um, <laughs> sort of like how you know, the making of the movie or making of the game or whatever. So hopefully people find this interesting. Um, I'm actually going to pause it there and I'm going to come back in a moment because it seems to have, uh, my unity seems to have stopped. So I'm just going to pause and then come right back. Okay, so we're back and we should be recording right now. And um, yeah, sorry about that. My unity does crash sometimes. I think when I have too much software running, including the uh, the recording software, so let's just click play and then we're going to see how this, show you how, how far I've got so far. So I'm just dragging the, the target around the crosshairs and then as this guy comes in, tap and he disappears. These uh, sort of halo objects, these were from before uh, when I first started. Uh, it's, this is sort of testing the accuracy mechanic as you can see. The closer I get to the center, the more score I'm getting, which is the whole point. It's kind of meant to be a sniper accuracy thing and... and kind of hardcore players would be able to like, you know, have a kind of higher grade challenge in here, a higher level of challenge uh, rather than just shooting anywhere. And I always find that kind of stuff interesting. I think I think when it's like getting perfect laps, I was just watching Wipeout before, a gameplay video of Wipeout on PS3. 
Uh, and I was a huge fan of that before I used to play a lot. But when you got a perfect lap, it was like great, you know, it was that kind of aim for the highest skill level. So, but yeah, that's pretty much it so far. Um, what I'm probably going to do next is I'm, I'm going to set up a, um, uh, what I want to do is kind of see how much fun this is right now just when you shoot this object. So one of the things I'm going to have is an actual, like a, a sniper rifle fire sound, which would be like the, and then you can hear the reload sound. Um, and what I also want is these little characters. They're going to have little arms down here as well. This is the character is actually from another game of ours called uh, Line Jump, Line Jump Run X. And uh, so I'm going to put in some little character arms so people know that it's not that it's a character, not just these two white squares. Uh, maybe some eyes in there as well. Um, you know, just something real basic. Uh, and but a, what one of the things I really want to do in this game is I want to have. Like the blood and the gore thing, I think is always interesting. You know, um, it tends to work in other games, and people tend to find that kind of interesting and, and kind of funny as well. Sometimes, I mean, we're not going to go full on gore brains and everything, but I think blood and and maybe some exploding bones might kind of be funny. Uh, and that's one of the things with games is when you know there has to be kind of interest factor in the game, uh, something that people think, oh, that's funny or cool, and just show their friend. Um, you know, and so that's that's one of the things that I was thinking, and that kind of came up to me last night when I was, uh, I was just kind of thinking about how to make the game more interesting, and I thought, you know, in Clear Vision, there's a lot of blood and gore, and that's kind of one of the, the the taboo or kind of X factors about it that people tend to remember. So I think that's that's pretty important in in any games to have that something that makes people remember it for whatever reason. Like in Angry Birds, it's kind of the sounds that everyone remembers, and, and Fruit Ninja as well. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to just create a particle system. Now I'm not sure how to do this exactly, because when it explodes, what we're going to do is we want to, we want to create some blood, but we also want to create some we want to create some bones as well. Now what we could do is, uh, one of the problems is that I'm trying to figure out, I don't think we can get all of those objects in like a like bone plus blood splattering plus let's say arms and legs flying for example. So what I think we'll need to do is actually um, Create a, a game object that has like one particle which which has blood, one particle system that has blood, one particle system that has bones, one that has arms, legs, and the, the parts, and then they'll all explode separately. So they'll all be a separate object. Uh, and then the blood splatter. What I want to do is actually keep that on the background. I want I want kind of blood splattered on the background here, and the blood's going to build up and build up and build up. And that that should look kind of interesting. I think it's going to be you know, pretty gory at the end of it. Um, and I actually have some blood textures. So this is one of the development processes, is trying to figure out the best way to do something, which is one of the things that I love about kind of game development and programming in general, is figuring out the best ways to do things. And what I'm going to do actually is, okay, let me, I'm going to put this as particles. I'm going to call this bones. So one is going to be the bones, and I'm going to do that first, actually. So I'm going to have to say uh, six bones emitting, mm -hmm. and we're going to set that off in the middle. And what I'm going to do is I actually have some bone images from another game of ours called uh, Chick's Revenge, and when you shoot these pigs, they sort of explode into bones, and they kind of look pretty cool. So. I'm going to use that and let's put this to the background so that it's not getting in the way of the UI or any of the characters because you don't want to you don't want to cover up characters or the scene that would be a problem for the player. So I'm just going to pause it there and I'm going to come back in a moment uh, once I've found these textures and brought them into the into the scene. So I'll be back shortly and stick around everyone. <laughs> 